Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Code Fights, Reigns of Reason, the intro section, doing alphabetic shift. Now, how I solved this was I took our input string and I made it into an array of characters. I compared it with a alphabet that I created, which was an array of letters, and then I found out what index val that letter was on, and then I pushed one more, and unless it was Z, if it was a Z special case, meaning it's the end of the alphabet, I just go ahead and set it to the front. So essentially what the task is here is we're getting a, a string such as crazy, and then we would just wanna switch the letters to be one more than the rest of them. So let's go ahead and get started with that. As I mentioned, I created an alphabet. Let me set that equal to an array. Now to save myself time and to save time in the video, I'm just gonna cut and paste all the values in here that I would normally have. So you'll see right here, we have the entire alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, all the way to Z. Um, has to be in order for the logic I'm about to do to work. The next thing that we wanna do is we'll take our input string and we wanna convert that string, in this case, the first one's crazy, as in the ex boyfriend or girlfriend is crazy. That is the context of that. And so we will go ahead and put that in there. We're going to split it up into a, an array of characters. Now, once we've done that, we want to go ahead and iterate through that array. Let's go ahead and create a standard array. And while i is less than the input string dot length, go ahead and continue the array. All right. Now that we've done that, we want to create what I call index val, and we'll go ahead and set it equal to zero. Setting equal to zero because in the case in which the value is, is um, z, it's gonna already be set to zero, so we're gonna have to check for that. So what we're gonna do is we're instead gonna check if the input string i is not equal to the character Z. So basically we're checking all the other use cases. Doesn't really matter which one we do. Um, we're gonna go ahead and set index val equal to the alphabet and then index of. This is where we're going to find out where that character is. So if it's a C, it's gonna return index two. And if we wanna make that a D, we just need to add one to that index, which is what we do. So of the current input string, that value that we're checking, input string I, we're gonna go ahead and just add one to it, that's all. So we got that two, and we're gonna say, hey, now index val is three, and then we're gonna overwrite that input string with the uh, i, we're gonna set it equal to the alphabet of index val. And at the end, we're just going to join the string back together in our return statement we say, look, if input string dot join, or not if, uh, so make that character array back into a string array, and we're done. So one more time, the logic is we created an alphabet uh, in order. From there, we create we broke it up into a string array. We iterate through that array. We create an index value zero for the use case. Here, if it's not equal to the, the last value, all we wanna do is go ahead and add one to the index value and change the value. If it's equal to Z or the last one, we've already set it. We've now shifted all of our characters by one. And at the end here, we join the array back together into a string and return it. Um, not, not too bad. There's probably a couple different ways you could do this one. Um, this is just how I solved it. I solved something similar, I wanna say, on uh, Free Code Camp in the past. So this came pretty quickly to me. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And join our Facebook group, uh, Kotec and Caffeine, as well as our Discord channel. And if you you got the money, you feel like balling out, and you want to support me so I can make a better, better channel, there's a Patreon link. All those links are in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.